Hey guys, welcome to Russell B's YouTube channel. I'm Russell. I'm gonna give you a, a little farm tour today, an update, and show you everything that's going on out here. Hope you guys enjoy it. So I just pulled up out here right next to the, the pasture that we have and uh, puppy dogs come out to greet us. Chickens come out. Sheep are here. They, uh, they're all ready for a snack. A lot of times when we come up here, we'll bring them a snack. So it's, it's a pretty cool thing to see everybody start heading this way whenever you come up. It's a good habit to get them into as well if you can do it. That way you can check out everybody, see how they're all doing. So let's dig in here. And let's check everybody out. And we, can, we can see what all is going on here. So those of you that have been with us before and watched some of our videos, you probably have seen our, our chicken coop here. This is a SSL family dad chicken coop that I got. He's another YouTuber. Um, I got the plans from him and it's it has been at two locations with us now and it's here to stay at this one. I've added, you can see uh, that, that square there, that's a uh, solar panel for the automatic chicken door that I can show you. Uh, but let's see if we've got any, any uh, chicken eggs in here today. Ooh. So this is pretty exciting. So that long chicken egg there, that is a first time color for us. These chicks that we've got have just now started laying. And I don't see anything else. Oh, we got an, another one in there. So they're just now starting to lay eggs. So it's exciting as you come out to the chicken coop here, you can start seeing a bunch of different colors. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six in here. And then I see another <laughs> one inside. So let me get these eggs collected. We've got hot out here, so everybody's kind of in the shade here, but here's the bulk of our chickens. We actually still have the two original chickens that we we got. The first two chickens we ever got, we still have them. That's one of them there that just jumped up on that piece of wood. They are they're in charge in this in this place here. The rooster, obviously, he's on the lookout and he's he's taking care of everybody. But the uh, the two original chickens we have, they're the first to get to eat. They're the first to get the snacks that we throw in there. Um, and you can see this this chicken here that's right in front of us. She's uh, her entire right entire right side of her body is is messed up. So that's the way that she came to us when she was born. But you can see how her tail goes to the side. She kind of drifts a little bit. Not exactly sure what's wrong with her. She seems happy and healthy all the time. So she's used the one of the first to come out and, and greet me. So, but here's our chickens. That's the automatic chicken door I was telling you about. I'm trying to get back in the use of using that. It actually uh, killed two chickens. They were they were roosted in the door and it came down on their head. Um, so I had to turn it off for a while until I could get them all used to it again. So I'm going to start trying to use that again to help with predators. I've, I've had an increase um, of predators in the area that I've picked up lately. So I'll, I'll cover that with you here in a bit when we go show you something else. But here, here's what we got going on. We got the chicken net out here. It's not electrified right now, but it just kind of gives them an area that they can, they can go and hang out during the day and the evening is my favorite time of the day because the temperature drops and everybody comes out and grazes. So this is just a uh, idea of what we could get from one day of collecting chicken eggs. Um, these two on the end here, the, the bigger ones, those are from our original two chickens that we had. Um, they lay over 300 eggs a day, or I'm sorry, not a day, 300 eggs a year 
Um, even during the winter time, they've been really good for us, continuing to lay eggs. Um, some of these here, as you can tell, are kind of the similar looking. Um, I'm fairly certain um, I didn't see those yesterday, which is why there's so many of them. But I can tell you that this one here is certainly new. Um, we have a bunch of uh, hens that are just now starting to lay eggs, which is why they're a little bit smaller and they're coming in different shapes. Um, but as you can tell, we've got a whole bunch of different colors um, that we're gonna start being able to see here at the farm. You got a brownish color there. This one here and this one here are a little bluer. And then we've got some, uh, some greener colors. So I'll try to put a picture up eventually to show you guys all the different kinds of colors that we have here at the farm. That was part of the, the plan that we wanted to do is have a bunch of different color eggs. So as you can see, we're getting there. So this is our ram. He, uh, he's the only ram that we actually have, the only male sheep that we have. And uh, he's done pretty good for us so far. He, he was uh, able to be around three females this past year and he got all three of them pregnant. Um, so he was three for three, did a good job for us. And uh, we're gonna be able to keep him for the next round and I'll be able to fill you in on why in just a second. But this is him, he's, he's done great. And uh, look forward to having another, another round of, of babies from him. So this is our, uh, our dog pen feeding area. Um, looks a little rough, doesn't look the prettiest as you can tell, but that's okay. It's, it's working out for us right now. There's just been so much going on um, that we haven't really had time to make it look any better, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to get to that this fall when things start cooling off and get a little more time to do things. But as you can see here in the middle, I've got this jump gate um, that allows the dogs to be able to get through and it keeps the sheep from being able to get, get into to get their food. Um, at one point I had uh, had it set up to where they could crawl under this this pallet. I had it raised up a little bit and I had the door raised up. But uh, as the uh, sheep started having babies, they were able to get in there and they were eating their food and it was a, it was a hot mess. So got that fixed and situated for now. And uh, this is the setup we've got going on. So inside there we've got the uh, automatic dog feeder holds about 50 pounds of dog food and uh, they're able to get in there and eat as much as they want and then they uh, they come back out so like I said it's not the prettiest setup right now but we'll be able to fix that up later all right so here is most of our flock we have uh, one that's back over there next to the pallet shelter and the, the dog fence. Let's talk about these here a little bit. So we've got uh, these two that you see here in front of me, they are two of our original sheep. The one that's closest to us here, she's actually pregnant. So we're looking for her to be having a baby here pretty soon. She's gonna come right up to us cause she's used to me giving her, giving her a little treat. And that's why you see everybody start running this way. They think I've got something for them to eat. We don't feed them too often, um, but I've been wanting to uh, get them all used to coming up to me when I run this way. So it's awful nice of them. They're coming in, coming in close. So we'll be able to introduce you to everybody. So this, first of all, here's our here's our dog Sam. He's a good boy. He's very protective of everything that's going on here. This is Pearl, she was our first ever bottle baby. So as you can see, she's got a uh, <laughs> tag there in her left ear, that means she's female. It's purple, which is the color that we chose for this year. And um, we actually got her from the same place we got these other sheep, but she was a bottle baby. <laughs> her mother didn't accept her. Um, the two darker ones and the uh, <laughs> spotted one here, we got them a couple months ago. All of these sheep have come from the same place, but they've all had different different dads. Um, but she was born in March, and the two darker ones there were born in February. And then again, this this uh, this one that you see here, she was she's pregnant, 
and we're hoping to have some more babies here pretty soon. This poor mama here, she's had a rough go. She had two babies and neither one of them made it. She's not in the greatest shape herself, hoping to get her feeling better. Um, she looks a lot better than she did, believe it or not, but this is for the first time she's starting to get with everybody else. The uh, little baby, baby lamb you see in the back there, That's now she's moved to the middle. She, uh, she was also a bottle baby, but she was born on our farm. So, her mom is walking up here. Of course, the only thing she had to do with her as far as being a mama was giving birth to her because she had nothing to do with her after that. Doc has joined us, her other doggy. And they love to play. They're, they're only about a year old, these dogs. So they're still very playful. But Sam, the one that you see there in front, he is in charge. And he makes sure that they they all know that he's in charge. And he does a good job, though. So does so does Doc, of making sure these these sheep stay stay safe. Pearl here. She uh, she actually made it to uh, school with me one time. We we uh, went and showed the school what she was all about, and she walked around the entire school with me. So she's gotten back to. Being a regular old sheep now, she was pretty well a pet there for a second, but she's she's back to being a sheep. But here's the flock of sheep that we have, the, and um, you can see here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, counting the ram. So hopefully this mama here will have some babies for us. She's tagged in her right ear, which uh, that's okay. We know that. Obviously she's female, but going forward, we'll start doing a tagging system, as you can see, like we have on this one here. It'll be in their left ear for female, right ear for male, and then the color will determine the year that they were born. So that'll help us keep track a little bit. Um, this will be the only, I was kind of talking about it earlier, this will be the only sheep that um, I won't be able to breed with our ram. So when I'm ready this October to put the ram back in with the herd, I'll just move her out by herself we're over where the uh where the ram's at and then he'll be able to hopefully breed all the ones we have in here which will really raise our numbers up all right guys so here are the hives that we currently have here on the farm we have another hive that's that's not out here um, it's at another location. It'll probably make its way out here um, this fall. But uh, here's what we got going on at the moment. So we, uh, we've we actually got the most honey this year than we've ever gotten before. Um, we typically put our honey in 16 ounce bottles. Um, and so far this year we've made over 130 bottles, which is... Uh, the most like I said we've ever done so super excited with that and we only really got honey off of maybe three or four hives and as you can see we've got four in the front here two in the back and then one at the other place um, plus we've got a little you can see a little bitty box here that I've started that's from a swarm that I caught on the last video that I I made um, so I got to be getting on that uh, that little box hopefully they will uh, be able to build up enough to make it through the winter but uh you may be able to tell i can zoom in a little bit as well see the bees on the front of the box there and there's some here as well um, that's what we call bearding and that happens because it gets too hot inside the box so the the bees will actually come out of the hive and uh they form on the front of the hive to try to cool the hive down inside because it's too hot um, they'll do that all night sometimes um, it just kind of depends sometimes there's a whole bunch of them on the front um, right now there's a lot of forager bees out so they are out and about today forging and collecting nectar and pollen and so that's why you don't see as many um, but the bees have a very specific temperature they try to keep the hives at and in order to do that, sometimes some of them have to come out to the front. But it's been a minute since I since I showed you these, and I wanted to kind of 
give you an update on them as well. Guys, I wanted to take a second and say thank you for uh, watching this video. I appreciate it as always that you guys are, are checking this out and giving us a giving us a watch. So I appreciate it, especially if you made it this far, you made it all the way through the video. So thank you so much. If you like what you see, please uh, hit like or subscribe or do both. That'd be even better. Um, tell your friends about us. Hopefully you find something here that you've uh, enjoy. You can check out some of our other videos that we've done um, over the over the past couple of years and see what all we've got going on. Hope to make more videos in the future. Been really busy. I know a lot of you guys have too. So we will uh, we'll catch you guys later. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and God bless.